luxury automobiles work very hard to achieve certain levels of success in their career and, and what they do. And they reward themselves with luxury goods like luxury automobiles. They buy Cadillacs and other luxury cars to be seen in. They want to be recognized for that level of success. Cadillac feels they ought to be recognized at night as well as during the daytime. The, uh, the key thing is to use lighting as a design element. Just as you might use uh, lighting on the exterior of your home, uh, landscape lighting, that kind of a thing, or on the interior, uh, we thought that that would be a great thing to do. Same idea on the Cadillac, to give it a soft, warm ambiance at night, make it feel wel welcoming, and make it uh, really something that highlights the design cues inside the car. Uh, something that people can really feel good about and, uh, and enjoy. Let me tell you a little bit about the lighting, the ambient lighting in the Cadillac CTS. We really have uh, two or three different things going on in the Cadillac. Let me show you here. Underneath the trim panels along uh, the IP and then also over here into the door coming along here and ending right here, we've got a flexible light pipe concealed behind the trim and that will glow at night with just a very soft glow of white light. We have pin lights concealed inside the car. There are one in each door. It's up underneath here and it's, uh, it lights the door handle at night. There is one more concealed here that projects light down as kind of a spotlight on the shifter of the car. So this is the light pipe. That, uh, this will be on all the time when the car is uh, being driven at night and uh, gives it a very thin, razor-sharp kind of vertical tail light orientation, which is a signature design cue for Cadillac. We've also used LEDs in a stack of 27 lights, two stacks for the turn signal indicators uh, and the brake lamps. In the past CDS, we did not have uh, LEDs in the back. We had uh, incandescent lamps in the back. We also use an LED for the backup lamp in the rear of the car. The front lamps, we use the same idea of a light pipe that projects light from the, from the bottom all the way up through. Again, gives a very razor sharp uh, look to the front light at night. And then we have uh, an adaptive front light which turns 15 degrees outboard or 5 degrees inboard in conjunction with the steering of the car. So as you go around a corner, your lights will actually follow around the corner uh, and not just remain straight ahead. So it's a very nice feature and actually a safety feature as well. If you look at the light pipes as well as these hypervision bulbs, that's really what separates these from most of the uh, headlamps on the street in that this is the kind of stuff you see on show cars. Whatever the designers can imagine, we can do with this technology, whether it's LEDs or HIDs or light pipes, the corners of the car suddenly are, are open uh, game for us to design these new and unique lamps. We're no longer forced to take something off the shelf and plug it into the front. Now we're free to do whatever we want to do. Our imagination is our only limit.